Effective and Efficient Teaching Methods Maximizing Impact in the Classroom by El Tayeb Walid Welcome to Effective and Efficient Teaching Methods Maximizing Impact in the Classroom In this audiobook, we dive into the heart of teaching excellence, uncovering strategies that not only enhance learning, but also streamline your teaching practice. Whether you're an experienced educator or just starting out, This guide is packed with actionable insights to help you make the most of every teaching moment. We explore a variety of teaching methods that balance effectiveness and efficiency, offering practical tips and real-world examples to transform your classroom experience. From engaging activities to innovative technology, discover how to captivate your students and achieve outstanding results with less effort. Focus points. Active learning. Techniques to involve students directly and make learning dynamic. Differentiated instruction. Strategies to tailor teaching to meet diverse student needs. Formative assessment. Methods for monitoring and enhancing student progress. Inquiry-based learning. Encouraging curiosity and self-directed exploration. Collaborative learning. Fostering teamwork and peer interaction. Blended learning. Integrating online and traditional methods for a balanced approach. Time management. Optimizing instructional time for maximum effectiveness. Chunking information. Breaking down complex content into digestible parts. Use of technology. Leveraging digital tools to enrich the learning experience. Scaffolding. Providing support to help students gradually achieve independence. What you will learn. How to engage students actively and make lessons more interactive. Techniques to adapt your teaching to cater to different learning styles. Effective ways to assess and track student progress continuously. Strategies for encouraging inquiry and fostering a collaborative classroom environment. Tips for incorporating technology and managing time efficiently to maximize teaching impact. Join us on this journey to discover practical and inspiring methods that will elevate your teaching practice and drive student success. Focus point one, active learning. Active learning is an instructional approach that engages students directly in the learning process, making them active participants rather than passive recipients of information. This method fosters deeper understanding, critical thinking, and retention of material by involving students in activities that require them to apply, analyze, and evaluate what they've learned. Explanation and theory. Active learning shifts the focus from traditional lecture-based teaching to a more interactive approach. According to educational theorist Richard Mayer, active learning promotes meaningful learning by encouraging students to engage with content actively, leading to better comprehension and retention. Mayer's multimedia learning theory emphasizes that people learn more effectively when they actively process information through both visual and verbal channels. Research by Freeman et al., 2014, provides robust evidence supporting active learning. The study found that students in courses employing active learning methods scored significantly higher on exams and demonstrated improved understanding of course material compared to those in traditional lecture-based courses. Practical approaches, group projects. These activities require students to collaborate, share ideas, and solve problems together. For instance, a group project on climate change might involve students researching different aspects of the issue and then presenting their findings as a team. This approach helps students learn from one another and engage more deeply with the material. Problem-based learning, PBL-PBL challenges students to solve real-world problems, promoting critical thinking and application of knowledge. An example is presenting students with a case study related to a current global issue and asking them to develop and justify a solution. This method encourages students to connect theoretical knowledge with practical applications. Interactive discussions. Facilitating class discussions where students are encouraged to share their perspectives and debate ideas can enhance engagement and understanding. For example, discussing the ethical implications of artificial intelligence in a debate format allows students to explore different viewpoints and develop their reasoning skills. Proven Experiments One influential experiment by Barrows and Tamblin, 1980, demonstrated the effectiveness of PBL in medical education. The study found that students who engaged in PBL performed better in clinical settings, 
and had higher levels of problem-solving skills compared to their peers in traditional lecture-based programs. Recommendations Incorporate interactive activities. Use group work, discussions, and hands-on projects to engage students actively. Apply real-world problems. Design activities that connect classroom learning with real-world issues to enhance relevance and interest. Foster collaboration. Encourage teamwork to promote peer learning and communication skills. Utilize technology. Integrate digital tools and platforms to facilitate interactive learning experiences. By implementing active learning strategies, educators can create a more dynamic and effective learning environment, helping students develop a deeper understanding and greater enthusiasm for the subject matter. Focus point two, differentiated instruction. Differentiated instruction is an educational approach tailored to meet the diverse needs of students by adapting teaching methods, resources, and assessments to accommodate varying learning styles, abilities, and interests. This method acknowledges that students have different backgrounds, skills, and paces of learning, and aims to provide a personalized learning experience that maximizes each student's potential. Explanation and Theory Differentiated instruction is grounded in the understanding that learners are not a homogeneous group, but a diverse collection of individuals with unique needs. Carol and Tomlinson, a leading proponent of differentiated instruction, explains that this approach allows teachers to modify their teaching strategies to align with the different readiness levels, interests, and learning profiles of their students. The theory of multiple intelligences, proposed by Howard Gardner, further supports differentiated instruction. Gardner's theory suggests that people have various types of intelligences, such as linguistic, logical-mathematical, spatial, and interpersonal. Differentiated instruction leverages these different intelligences by incorporating a variety of teaching methods to engage students in ways that resonate with their individual strengths. Practical Approaches Tiered Assignments these are assignments designed with varying levels of complexity to match different students' readiness levels. For instance, a math teacher might provide three tiers of problems, basic, intermediate, and advanced. Each tier challenges students at different levels of understanding, ensuring that all students are appropriately challenged. Flexible grouping. This involves grouping students in various ways depending on the activity or learning objective. For example, Students might work in mixed ability groups for one project and in ability-based groups for another. This strategy helps students learn from peers with different skills and perspectives. Choice boards. Providing students with a choice board allows them to select from a range of activities that cater to their interests and learning styles. For instance, a choice board for a history unit might include options such as creating a video documentary, writing a research paper, or designing a poster. This approach enhances engagement by allowing students to work on tasks they find most motivating. Proven experiments. Research conducted by Tomlinson and her colleagues has shown that differentiated instruction can lead to significant improvements in student achievement and engagement. In one study, classrooms where differentiated instruction was implemented saw higher levels of student performance and greater satisfaction with the learning process compared to traditional, one-size-fits-all approaches. Recommendations. Assess individual needs. Regularly evaluate students' readiness levels, interests, and learning profiles to tailor instruction effectively. Implement tiered assignments. Create assignments with varying levels of difficulty to challenge students at their respective readiness levels. Utilize flexible grouping. Rotate students through different group configurations to promote diverse learning experiences and peer interactions. Offer choices. Use choice boards or similar tools to allow students to select activities that align with their interests and strengths. By embracing differentiated instruction, educators can create a more inclusive and responsive learning environment that supports the varied needs of all students, fostering greater academic success and personal growth. Focus point three, formative assessment. Formative assessment is a continuous process used by educators to evaluate student learning and understanding throughout the instructional period. Unlike summative assessments, which typically occur at the end of a unit or course, formative assessments are conducted during the learning process. 
They provide real-time feedback to both students and teachers, allowing for adjustments to instruction and learning strategies. Explanation and theory. Formative assessment is rooted in the concept of assessment for learning rather than assessment of learning. According to Paul Black and Dylan Williams' influential research, formative assessment has a significant impact on student achievement when used effectively. Their studies, published in the book Inside the Black Box, emphasize that formative assessment helps identify students' strengths and areas for improvement, guiding instructional adjustments and enhancing learning outcomes. The theory of formative assessment aligns with John Hattie's work on visible learning. Hattie's meta-analyses demonstrate that formative assessment has a substantial effect size on student achievement. By providing ongoing feedback and opportunities for students to reflect on their understanding, formative assessments help bridge the gap between current performance and desired learning goals. Practical approaches, exit tickets. At the end of a lesson, students submit a brief written response to a question or prompt related to the day's material. This quick assessment provides immediate feedback on student comprehension and can inform adjustments for future lessons. For example, an exit ticket might ask students to summarize the main concept of the lesson or pose a question about a challenging topic. Quizzes and polls. Frequent, low-stakes quizzes or online polls can gauge student understanding and identify areas that need further clarification. These tools offer immediate feedback to students and help teachers pinpoint common misconceptions. For instance, a teacher might use a digital quiz to assess students' grasp of a new grammar rule in a language class. Peer and self-assessment. Encouraging students to assess their own or each other's work fosters reflective learning and helps them develop critical evaluation skills. Structured peer assessments can provide students with diverse perspectives on their work and enhance their ability to identify strengths and areas for improvement. Proven experiments. Research by Black and William, 1998, highlights the effectiveness of formative assessment. Their findings indicate that formative assessment practices, such as providing feedback and adjusting instruction based on student needs, lead to improved learning outcomes. Another study by Hattie and Timberley, 2007, supports this, showing that feedback from formative assessments significantly enhances student performance by guiding their learning process. Recommendations. Incorporate frequent check-ins. Use exit tickets, quizzes, and polls regularly to monitor student understanding and adjust instruction as needed. Provide timely feedback. Ensure that feedback from formative assessments is given promptly to help students address areas for improvement while the material is still fresh. Utilize peer and self-assessment. Implement structured peer and self-assessment activities to promote reflection and critical thinking among students. Adjust instruction based on data. Use formative assessment data to make informed adjustments to teaching strategies and address any learning gaps. By effectively implementing formative assessment, educators can create a responsive learning environment that supports continuous improvement and enhances student achievement. Focus point four, inquiry-based learning. Inquiry-based learning is an instructional approach that emphasizes student-driven exploration and problem-solving. This method encourages students to ask questions, conduct research, and engage in critical thinking to build their own understanding of concepts and processes. By focusing on questions and exploration, inquiry-based learning fosters deeper learning and helps students develop essential skills for lifelong learning. Explanation and Theory Inquiry-based learning is grounded in constructivist theory, particularly the work of Jean Piaget and Lev Vygotsky. Piaget's theory of cognitive development suggests that learning is an active process where students build on their existing knowledge through exploration and discovery. Vygotsky's social constructivism further supports the idea that learning occurs through interaction with more knowledgeable others and active engagement with the environment. John Dewey, a prominent educational philosopher, championed inquiry-based learning as a means to promote critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Do we believe that education should be rooted in real-world experiences and student interests, emphasizing that learning is most effective when students are actively involved in their education? Practical Approaches Problem-based learning, PBL and PBL, students are presented with a complex, 
real-world problem and work collaboratively to find solutions. For instance, students might be given a case study involving an environmental issue and tasked with proposing actionable solutions. This approach encourages research, teamwork, and application of knowledge to real-world scenarios. Project-based learning. This method involves students working on a project over an extended period, often culminating in a final product or presentation. An example is a project where students create a documentary on a historical event, incorporating research, interviews, and multimedia elements. Project-based learning helps students develop research, presentation, and problem-solving skills. Socratic seminars. These are structured discussions where students engage in dialogue about a specific question or topic, guided by open-ended questions from the teacher. For example, a Socratic seminar might explore ethical issues in technology, allowing students to discuss and debate various perspectives. This method fosters critical thinking and articulate communication. Proven experiments. Research conducted by Thomas Markham, 2011, demonstrates that inquiry-based learning methods, such as PBL and project-based learning, lead to higher levels of student engagement and academic achievement. Markham's studies indicate that students involved in inquiry-based projects show improved problem-solving skills and greater enthusiasm for learning. Another study by Kratzik and Blumenfeld, 2006, highlights the benefits of inquiry-based learning in science education. Their research shows that inquiry-based approaches help students develop a deeper understanding of scientific concepts and enhance their ability to apply scientific reasoning to new situations. Recommendations. Design real-world problems. Create problems and projects that relate to real-world issues and student interests to enhance engagement and relevance. Foster collaboration. Encourage group work and peer interactions to promote teamwork and diverse perspectives in problem solving. Facilitate critical discussions. Use Socratic seminars and guided discussions to help students articulate their thinking and engage in deeper analysis. Provide resources and guidance. Offer support and resources to help students conduct research and navigate their inquiry processes effectively. Implementing inquiry-based learning can lead to a more dynamic and student-centered classroom environment, where learners develop critical thinking skills and a deeper understanding of the material through active exploration and problem-solving. Focus point five, collaborative learning. Collaborative learning is an instructional strategy that involves students working together to achieve common goals solve problems, or complete tasks. This approach leverages the social nature of learning, fostering interactions among students to enhance understanding and build skills. By engaging in group work, students benefit from diverse perspectives, shared knowledge, and collective problem solving. Explanation and theory. Collaborative learning is deeply rooted in Vygotsky's social constructivism theory, which emphasizes that learning occurs through social interaction and collaboration. Vygotsky argued that cognitive development is significantly influenced by interactions with others, and that learning is a social process where students build understanding through dialogue and cooperation. The theory of cooperative learning, developed by researchers like David Johnson and Roger Johnson, extends this concept. Their research suggests that structured group activities lead to higher academic achievement, improved interpersonal skills, and greater motivation. They identify key elements of successful collaborative learning, including positive interdependence, individual accountability, and face-to-face -face interaction. Practical approaches. Group projects. Assign tasks that require students to work together to research, plan, and execute a project. For instance, a science class might involve students in designing and conducting experiments, then presenting their findings as a group. This method fosters teamwork and allows students to learn from one another's expertise. Peer teaching. Encourage students to teach concepts to their peers, either through formal presentations or informal study groups. For example, students might be assigned topics to research and then teach their findings to the rest of the class. Peer teaching helps reinforce knowledge and develop communication skills. Jigsaw method. In this approach, each student in a group is assigned a different segment of a topic to research and then teach to the rest of the group. 
This method promotes a sense of responsibility and encourages active participation from all group members. For instance, in a history lesson, students might research different historical figures and then share their insights with the group. Proven experiments, research by Johnson & Johnson, 1999, demonstrates the effectiveness of collaborative learning in enhancing academic achievement and social skills. Their studies show that students who engage in well-structured group activities achieve higher academic outcomes and develop better interpersonal skills compared to those who work individually. Another study by Slavin, 1995, supports the benefits of cooperative learning, finding that students who participate in cooperative learning environments have improved academic performance, better attitudes towards learning, and increased social skills. Slavin's research highlights that cooperative learning fosters a supportive learning environment where students can thrive. Recommendations. Structure group activities. Design collaborative tasks with clear objectives and roles to ensure productive group work and effective learning outcomes. Encourage peer teaching. Facilitate opportunities for students to teach and learn from each other reinforcing their understanding and communication skills. Implement the jigsaw method. Use this method to divide topics into segments, promoting active participation and collective responsibility among students. Monitor group dynamics. Observe and support group interactions to address any challenges and ensure that all students contribute and benefit from the collaborative experience. By integrating collaborative learning into your teaching practices, you can create a dynamic classroom environment where students enhance their understanding, develop key social skills, and achieve greater academic success through meaningful interactions and teamwork. Focus point six, blended learning. Blended learning is an instructional approach that combines traditional face-to-face -face classroom experiences with online learning activities. This method integrates the benefits of in-person interaction and digital technology to create a more flexible and personalized learning environment. Blended learning allows for a variety of learning modes, accommodating different preferences and needs while enhancing the overall educational experience. Explanation and theory. Blended learning builds on the principles of both traditional education and digital learning, leveraging the strengths of each to provide a comprehensive educational experience. The Community of Inquiry COI framework, developed by Garrison, Anderson and Archer, supports this approach by emphasizing the importance of cognitive, social, and teaching presence in online and blended learning environments. This framework highlights that effective blended learning requires a balance between these elements to foster meaningful learning experiences. The theory of the flipped classroom also underpins blended learning. In this model, students review instructional content at home through online videos or readings, and then use class time for interactive activities, discussions, and practical application. Research by Bergman and Sams, 2012, shows that flipping the classroom can lead to increased student engagement and deeper understanding of the material, as students have more time to interact with content and receive support during class. Practical approaches, online modules, develop online modules or courses that students can complete at their own pace. For instance, a history class might include online lessons and quizzes that cover the basics of ancient civilizations, allowing students to explore the material at their convenience before discussing it in class. Virtual discussions. Use online forums or discussion boards to facilitate conversations and collaboration outside of class. For example, students might engage in a weekly discussion on a literature topic, sharing insights and responding to peers' posts. This approach extends classroom discussions and allows for more in-depth analysis. Hybrid classrooms. Design a classroom environment where students alternate between online and face-to-face -face activities. For instance, a math class might involve online tutorials and practice problems, followed by in-person sessions where students work on complex problems and receive direct support from the teacher. Proven experiments. Research by Horn and Staker, 2014 on blended learning models demonstrates that integrating online and face-to-face -face instruction can improve student outcomes and increase flexibility in learning. Their findings indicate that students in blended learning environments often achieve higher academic performance and exhibit greater satisfaction with their learning experience.
Another study by Means et al. 2013 found that blended learning approaches can lead to significant improvements in student achievement, particularly when online components are used to supplement and reinforce in-person instruction. The research highlights that blended learning provides opportunities for personalized learning and enhanced engagement. Recommendations. Develop online content. Create engaging online modules and resources that complement in-person instruction, allowing students to learn at their own pace and revisit material as needed. Facilitate virtual interactions. Use online platforms for discussions, group work, and collaboration to extend classroom learning and promote continuous engagement. Design hybrid activities. Incorporate a mix of online and face-to-face -face activities to leverage the strengths of both modes and provide a well-rounded learning experience. Monitor and adjust. Continuously assess the effectiveness of blended learning components and make adjustments based on student feedback and performance data. By effectively implementing blended learning strategies, educators can create a more flexible and engaging learning environment that meets diverse student needs and enhances the overall educational experience. Focus point seven, gamification in education. Gamification in education involves integrating game design elements and principles into the learning process to enhance student engagement, motivation, and learning outcomes. By incorporating elements such as points, badges, leaderboards, and game-like challenges, educators aim to create a more interactive and motivating learning environment. Explanation and theory. Gamification leverages the psychological principles of game, designed to make learning more engaging and rewarding. The concept is supported by the theory of intrinsic motivation, which suggests that individuals are more likely to engage in activities that they find inherently enjoyable and satisfying. According to Desi and Ryan's self-determination theory, gamification can enhance intrinsic motivation by providing students with a sense of competence, autonomy, and relatedness. The work of Jane McGonigal, particularly in her book Reality is Broken, emphasizes that game design principles can be applied to real-world challenges, including education. McGonagall argues that games can make tasks more engaging by incorporating elements such as immediate feedback, clear goals, and a sense of progress. These principles can be adapted to the classroom to create a more dynamic and motivating learning experience. Practical Approaches Points and Badges Implement a system where students earn points or badges for completing tasks, achieving milestones, or demonstrating specific skills. For instance, a math teacher might award badges for mastering different types of problems or achieving high scores on quizzes. This approach provides immediate rewards and reinforces positive behavior. Leaderboards. Use leaderboards to display student progress and achievements in a friendly, competitive manner. For example, a language class might have a leaderboard that ranks students based on their performance in vocabulary quizzes or language practice activities. Leaderboards can motivate students to improve their performance and strive for excellence. Game-based learning platforms. Incorporate educational games and platforms that offer interactive and immersive learning experiences. Platforms like Kahoot! and quizzes allow students to participate in game-like quizzes and competitions, making learning more engaging and enjoyable. These platforms provide instant feedback and reinforce learning through repetition and competition. Proven Experiments Research by Hamari, Coivisto, and Sursa, 2014, indicates that gamification can positively impact student engagement and motivation. Their studies show that game elements such as points, badges, and leaderboards can enhance students' intrinsic motivation and participation in educational activities. Another study by Detterding et al., 2011, explores the effectiveness of gamification in various contexts, including education. The research highlights that gamification can lead to increased engagement, improved learning outcomes, and greater satisfaction among students, particularly when game elements are well-designed and aligned with educational goals. Recommendations. Implement points and badges. Use a points and badge system to reward students for their achievements and progress, providing immediate feedback and motivation. Introduce leaderboards. Create leaderboards to foster friendly competition and encourage students to improve their performance and stay engaged. 
Utilize game-based platforms. Incorporate educational games and interactive platforms to make learning more dynamic and enjoyable, enhancing student engagement and retention. Align game elements with learning goals. Ensure that gamification elements are purposefully integrated and aligned with educational objectives to maximize their effectiveness and relevance. By integrating gamification into the learning process, educators can create a more engaging and motivating environment that enhances student participation, learning outcomes, and overall satisfaction. Focus point eight, differentiated instruction. Differentiated instruction is an approach that tailors teaching methods and learning activities to accommodate the diverse needs, abilities, and interests of students. This method recognizes that students have varying backgrounds, learning styles, and levels of readiness, and seeks to provide multiple pathways to learning to ensure that all students can achieve success. Explanation and theory. Differentiated instruction is grounded in the theory of multiple intelligences, proposed by Howard Gardner. Gardner's theory suggests that individuals possess different types of intelligences or strengths, such as linguistic, logical mathematical, spatial, and interpersonal. Differentiated instruction aligns with this theory by providing various instructional strategies and activities that cater to different intelligences and learning preferences. Carol and Tomlinson, a leading expert in differentiated instruction, emphasizes that effective differentiation involves adjusting content, process, product, and learning environment based on students' needs. Tomlinson's research highlights that differentiation can improve student engagement and learning outcomes by addressing individual differences and providing personalized learning experiences. Practical approaches, tiered assignments, create assignments with varying levels of difficulty to match students' readiness levels. For instance, in a history class, students might be assigned different research tasks based on their understanding of the material, ranging from basic fact-finding to complex analysis. This approach allows students to work at their own level while still engaging with the core content. Flexible grouping. Use a variety of grouping strategies, such as homogeneous groups for targeted skill development and heterogeneous groups for collaborative learning. For example, students might work in small groups to complete a project on climate change, with each group focusing on different aspects of the topic based on their strengths and interests. Learning stations. Set up different learning stations in the classroom each offering a distinct activity or resource related to the lesson. For instance, in a language arts class, stations might include reading comprehension activities, vocabulary games, and writing exercises. Students rotate through the stations, allowing them to engage with the material in multiple ways. Proven experiments. Research by Tomlinson and Strickland, 2005 demonstrates that differentiated instruction can lead to improved student achievement and motivation. Their studies indicate that when teachers use differentiated strategies to address diverse learning needs, students show greater engagement and better academic performance. Another study by Reed and Reitzes, 2009, supports the effectiveness of differentiated instruction in meeting the needs of diverse learners. The research highlights that differentiated instruction helps students with varying abilities and learning styles achieve higher levels of understanding and success. Recommendations. Implement tiered assignments. Design assignments with varying levels of complexity to match students' readiness levels, ensuring that all students can work on tasks suited to their abilities. Utilize flexible grouping. Use different grouping strategies to support diverse learning needs and promote collaboration and peer learning. Incorporate learning stations. Set up multiple learning stations to provide diverse activities and resources, catering to different learning styles and preferences. Adjust instruction based on feedback. Regularly assess students' progress and adjust instruction and activities based on their needs and feedback to ensure continued engagement and growth. By applying differentiated instruction, educators can create a more inclusive and effective learning environment that addresses the unique needs and strengths of each student, ultimately enhancing their learning experience and success. Focus point nine, formative assessment. Formative assessment is a type of assessment designed to monitor student learning and provide ongoing feedback that can be used to improve teaching and learning. Unlike summative assessments, 
which evaluate student learning at the end of an instructional period, formative assessments are conducted during the learning process to inform instruction and support student growth. Explanation and theory. Formative assessment is rooted in the concept of assessment for learning as opposed to assessment of learning. According to Black and William, 1998, formative assessment involves gathering evidence of student learning through various methods, analyzing this evidence, and using the insights gained to guide instruction and provide feedback. The concept of formative assessment is closely linked to the theory of feedback loops in education. According to Hattie and Timberley, 2007, effective feedback helps students understand their current level of performance, identify areas for improvement, and develop strategies to enhance their learning. Formative assessments are designed to create these feedback loops, allowing students to make adjustments and progress in their learning. Practical approaches. Exit tickets. Use brief assessments at the end of a lesson to gauge students' understanding of the material. For instance, students might be asked to write a brief summary of the day's lesson or answer a key question on a small slip of paper. Exit tickets provide quick insights into student comprehension and help identify areas that need further attention. Peer assessments. Incorporate opportunities for students to assess each other's work. For example, in a writing class, students might exchange drafts and provide constructive feedback on each other's writing. Peer assessments encourage collaboration, critical thinking, and provide diverse perspectives on student work. Interactive quizzes. Use online quizzes or interactive tools to assess understanding in real time. Platforms like Kahoot or quizzes offer immediate feedback and can be used to review key concepts or assess comprehension during lessons. These tools engage students and provide instant insights into their learning. Proven experiments. Research by Black and William, 1998, highlights the significant impact of formative assessment on student achievement. Their meta-analysis found that formative assessments lead to higher student performance by providing actionable feedback that helps students understand and address their learning needs. Another study by Hattie and Timberley, 2007, underscores the importance of feedback in formative assessment. Their research shows that feedback, when delivered effectively, significantly enhances student learning by helping students identify their strengths and areas for improvement. Recommendations. Implement exit tickets. Use exit tickets to quickly assess student understanding at the end of a lesson and identify areas that may need further clarification. Encourage peer assessments. Facilitate peer review activities to provide students with additional feedback and promote collaborative learning. Utilize interactive quizzes. Incorporate online quizzes and interactive tools to assess comprehension in real time and engage students in the learning process. Analyze feedback and adjust instruction. Regularly review formative assessment data to adjust teaching strategies and address students' learning needs effectively. By integrating formative assessment into the instructional process, educators can create a dynamic learning environment that supports continuous improvement, enhances student engagement, and promotes deeper understanding of the material. Focus point 10. Active learning strategies. Active learning strategies involve engaging students directly in the learning process, encouraging them to participate actively rather than passively receiving information. These strategies focus on promoting student interaction, critical thinking, and application of knowledge, making the learning experience more dynamic and effective. Explanation and theory. Active learning is grounded in constructivist theories of education, which emphasize that learners construct their own understanding and knowledge through experiences and reflection. Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development suggests that learning occurs most effectively when students are actively involved in their own learning process, rather than passively receiving information. The theory of experiential learning, developed by David Kolb, further supports active learning. Kolb's model highlights that learning is a cyclical process involving concrete experience, reflective observation, abstract conceptualization, and active experimentation. According to Kolb, active learning helps students apply their experiences to new situations, fostering deeper understanding and retention. Practical approaches. Think-pair-share. Implement this strategy by asking a question, 
having students think about their answers individually, then discuss their thoughts with a partner before sharing with the class. For example, after a lecture on environmental issues, students might discuss potential solutions in pairs and then share their ideas with the group. This approach encourages individual reflection, peer interaction, and collaborative learning. Case studies use real-world scenarios to help students apply theoretical concepts to practical situations. In a business class, students might analyze a case study of a company facing a strategic challenge and propose solutions based on their understanding of business principles. Case studies promote critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Role-playing. Incorporate role-playing activities where students act out scenarios related to the lesson. For instance, in a history class, students might role-play historical figures to explore different perspectives on historical events. This method helps students empathize with different viewpoints and understand complex concepts. Proven experiments. Research by Bonwell and Eisen, 1991, highlights the effectiveness of active learning strategies in improving student engagement and academic performance. Their review of active learning techniques shows that these strategies lead to higher levels of student involvement and better retention of material compared to traditional lecture-based methods. Another study by Freeman et al., 2014, demonstrates the positive impact of active learning on student outcomes. Their meta-analysis of active learning interventions found that students who participated in active learning activities performed better on exams and had higher course grades than those in traditional lecture-based courses. Recommendations. Implement ThinkPairShare. Use this strategy to encourage individual thinking, peer discussion, and class-wide sharing, fostering a more interactive and collaborative learning environment. Incorporate case studies. Integrate real-world case studies into your lessons to help students apply theoretical concepts to practical situations and develop problem-solving skills. Use role-playing activities. Engage students in role-playing scenarios to explore different perspectives and deepen their understanding of complex topics. Encourage student participation. Design activities and discussions that require active student involvement, promoting engagement and enhancing learning outcomes. By incorporating active learning strategies into your teaching practices, you can create a more engaging and effective learning environment that encourages students to actively participate, apply their knowledge, and develop critical thinking skills. Conclusion In this audiobook, we've explored a range of effective and efficient teaching methods designed to enhance classroom dynamics and student outcomes. Each focus point offers valuable insights and practical strategies for educators aiming to create more engaging, personalized, and impactful learning experiences. Focus point one, active learning techniques emphasize the importance of engaging students through hands-on activities, discussions, and problem-solving tasks. Strategies like think-pair-share, role-playing, and interactive simulations foster deeper understanding and retention of material. Focus point two, Technology integration highlights how digital tools can enhance learning through multimedia resources, online collaboration platforms, and adaptive learning technologies. Effective use of technology can make lessons more interactive and accessible. Focus point three. Classroom management addresses the need for establishing clear rules, creating a positive classroom environment, and employing strategies to handle disruptions. Effective classroom management supports a conducive learning atmosphere and maximizes instructional time. Focus point four. Differentiated instruction involves tailoring teaching methods to accommodate diverse learning needs, abilities, and interests. Techniques such as tiered assignments and flexible grouping ensure that all students can engage with the content at their own level. Focus point five. Formative assessment focuses on using ongoing assessments to provide feedback and guide instruction. Tools like exit tickets, peer assessments, and interactive quizzes help monitor student progress and make necessary adjustments to teaching methods. Focus point six. Gamification incorporates game design elements into education to boost student engagement and motivation. Elements such as points, badges, and leaderboards create a fun and competitive learning environment. Focus point seven, student-centered learning emphasizes placing students at the heart of the learning process. 
Strategies like project-based learning and self-directed study empower students to take ownership of their learning and develop critical thinking skills. Focus point eight, collaborative learning involves structured group activities that promote teamwork and collective problem solving. Collaborative tasks enhance communication skills and deepen understanding through peer interaction. Focus point nine, formative assessment underscores the value of continuous feedback in supporting student growth. Using formative assessments helps identify learning gaps and guide instructional adjustments to meet students' needs effectively. Focus point 10. Active learning strategies engage students directly in their learning process through interactive methods. Techniques such as case studies, role-playing, and active discussions make learning more dynamic and participatory. Recommendations. Incorporate active learning techniques. Use engaging activities to enhance student participation and comprehension. Integrate technology thoughtfully. Leverage digital tools to enrich the learning experience and support diverse needs. Employ effective classroom management. Establish clear rules and maintain a positive environment to facilitate learning. Apply differentiated instruction. Tailor teaching methods to address varied learning styles and abilities. Utilize formative assessments regularly. Provide continuous feedback to guide and improve student learning. Gamify learning. Introduce game elements to make learning more engaging and motivating. Encourage student-centered learning. Empower students to take control of their learning journey. Foster collaborative learning. Promote teamwork and collective problem solving in the classroom. Thank you for joining us on this journey through effective teaching methods. Your support means a lot. And if you enjoyed this audiobook, please like it and consider subscribing to the MediaDeem YouTube channel. Remember, listening is a crucial part of improving your English language skills. The more you listen, the better you speak. Keep listening, stay engaged, and continue your path to mastery.